President Rodrigo Duterte has yet to issue any order of a police and military takeover in the country. Presidential spokesman Harry Roque clarifies this Monday, April 20, after the armed forces started preparing for a possible martial law-like lockdown. At yung kumalat naman na impormasyon na naghahanda daw ang um, armed forces, natural dahil nabanggit ng presidente yung maghahanda sila. Pero the president has not actually exercised this extraordinary power of calling upon the military for this purpose. AFP spokesperson Edgar Arevalo says the directive is a natural reaction to prepare and deploy the troops when it becomes necessary. Roque also says President Duterte had a phone call with United States President Donald Trump late Sunday night. April 19. He says the call was initiated by the U.S. and lasted 18 minutes. The agenda was the coronavirus pandemic. No other details about the call were disclosed. There has also been no information on the call from American officials and official sources. There are 6,459 cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines as of Monday, April 20, with 613 recoveries and 428 deaths. One of the latest casualties include former Senator Harrison Alvarez, who succumbed to the virus Monday, April 20. Alvarez, known to many as Sunny, was 80. Three weeks ago, he and his wife, theater artist Cecil Guidote Alvarez, were found positive for the virus and were in critical condition. Screenwriter, poet, and independent Visayan film actor Maria Victoria Beltran was arrested Sunday, April 19, for a sarcastic Facebook post. Her post says 9,000 plus new cases, all from Zapatera of COVID-19 in Cebu City in one day. We are now the epicenter in the whole solar system. The post was a comment on the Cebu City Health Department's announcement that the area would be considered contaminated after 136 people tested positive, the most out of any area in the region so far. Mayor Edgar Labella's reply prompted her arrest. This is fake news, and this is a criminal act. Just wait, Miss Beltran. You'll soon be caught by the PNP Cybercrime Unit. You'll really be thrown in prison. Beltran says her post is satire. Meantime, former Anakpawis Party List representative Argel Casilao and his companions were detained in Norzigaray, Bulacan, Sunday. The group was on their way to deliver relief goods when they were stopped at a checkpoint and then brought to a police station. The volunteers were allowed to distribute the relief packages but were later called back to the police station. Four policemen who stormed the Pacific Plaza Tower condominium complex in Taguig City are cleared of any violation by the Philippine National Police. The four forced themselves into the high-end condominium complex, carrying firearms but without warrants last Sunday, April 19. Condominium management describes the incident as extremely upsetting, clearly inappropriate, and possibly illegal. But Taguig Police Chief Celso Rodriguez says they received reports of residents not following physical distancing guidelines. He also says the four will not be suspended and instead deserve praise for what they did. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan blacklists four major British tabloids, The Sun, Daily Mail, Mirror, and Express. The couple accuses the publications of coming out with stories that were distorted, false, and invasive beyond reason. In a letter to the editors of the tabloids, the couple says there would be no corroboration and zero engagement with the newspapers. Harry and Meghan made the announcement in January. They wished to withdraw from frontline royal duties and become financially independent. The couple relocated to California last month and kept a low profile. The biggest musicians and personalities from all over the world come together for a virtual show aired on Sunday, April 19, Manila time. Billie Eilish, Alton John, Jennifer Lopez, Celine Dion, Paul McCartney, and Stevie Wonder are some of the artists in the show. Lady Gaga organized One World Together at Home show with the World Health Organization and non-government organization Global Citizen. She says it is a love letter to the world in the fearless global effort against the coronavirus pandemic. Towards the end of the show, Celine Dion, Andrea Bocelli, Lady Gaga, Lang Lang, and John Legend came together and performed the prayer. Let this be our prayer. Let this be our prayer. 
Meantime, New York, the epicenter of the United States' coronavirus infections, appears to have passed the peak of the outbreak Sunday, April 19. New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo says in a press conference, We are past the high point and all indications at this point is that we are on the descent. New York State's shutdown has extended until May 15. The U.S. records more than 746,000 COVID-19 cases and 40,000 deaths. At least 18,000 of these deaths are in New York. 